Hi everyone, welcome to the Curiops channel. I'm Rafael Lima and today you're going to be taking a look at Java primitive types. For last video we worked on creating the project. Now we are looking into types in Java. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive notifications of my next videos and I'll be posting the links for, for previous ones so you can keep it up. Right, so let's dive in. So we have a previous project that we created in, in, in the last video and I'm going to be posting the links for that video here. And I'm going to ignore all of the files that was created as part of the boilerplate code. However, we're going to be using that later, so I'm not going to delete it. So I'm going to create a new class and I'm going to call it primitive type. And I'm going to create a main class, a main method. So it's public because it's being created, it's being, it can be accessed by any other file. It's static because I don't need to uh, create the object to execute this. It's void because it does not return anything. And the name is main because it's the main, class, main method. It's going to receive a string, which is text, but it's an array. And I'm going to be talking about arrays in, in future videos. So this is a string of arrays. It means roughly that I'm piling up text and the name of how I can access this is args. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to create a variable. So uh, you define the variable by its type and this is a string. And then you give the name, which is text. and the equal sign for attribution and then uh, double quotes or string and any text you want. String can be a, a, a you end with a semicolon. So a string can be a word, a letter, uh, a paragraph, a full text. The next one is going to be a character. So this is a char, and then I'm going to give it a character. And this is, let's say C. I cannot put anything else because this needs to be a character. I cannot also put with double quotes because it's going to say that it's expecting a string instead of a char because of the double quotes. Right, and you see the red line here. If I hover over it, it's going to give me explain some explanation. The string here, however, can be just a, a letter if you want, as long as it's on double quotes. All right, now I have an int number, and this is 10. This needs to be the, the integer number. It cannot be the decimal area. It cannot have decimals here. It needs to be the integer number. All right, so now we're going to go to Boolean, which is a true or false variable. I'm going to give the name of result, and this is going to be true. It could be also false. And a float, which is also a number, I'm going to give float number, and this is going to be three dot, I'm going to give 0 0.02, and I need to put F, Otherwise, it's going to think it's a double, which is another type. And I'm going to do float, float number two, and I'm going to say 0.03f. This is float. Now I'm going to print this to my console, and I'm going to do this with system.out.println. And I'm going to give to uh, a string, which is same, uh, double quotes. I'm going to say string. This is a text that's going to be printed. I'm going to put plus to concatenate with the variable text. Now you can see now the text changed the color because here it says that the variable is not being used. And now the variable was used, so it's not displaying the warning anymore. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do command D 
I I recommend you to type everything, but I'm going to do command D. I'm going to say character, and this is going to be plus character. So this is going to say char. I'm going to do everything here, and I'm going to come back shortly. So I did everything now, and you have integer, boolean, char, and float. And now I'm going to have float two float number i'm going to do the execution of these i'm going to do a, um, a a mathematical expression here i'm going to say float result float and i'm going to say float number minus subtracted by the float number and i'm going to say result float is going to be result float i'm going to click here on the on the play and then do run and it's going to execute everything and you can see you have the string the integer the boolean the char the char the float float two and the result so result is one of the 0 0.01 of that subtraction now we're going to take a look at another type which it's called double it's also a number double number Oh, by the way, I forgot. Uh, this is going to be 0 0.02. So I need to put the F here. Otherwise, it's going to expect a double, which is a number as well. I, I need to put F for float. The difference is the amount of uh, decimal points you have. Float, you have like 6 or 7. And double, you have 15, 16. Right, so... Now I'm going to say double, double number two and 0 0.03 and double result double is going to be double number minus double. All right. And I'm going to print. So I'm going to use S out and enter. And it's going to print everything for me again. It's going to type everything for me again. Do type. It's important that you learn how to do this. Otherwise, you're going to be the person that only knows how to code using IntelliJ. And you do not want that. Right. So here I'm going to say double. Double number. Double two. Double number two result double result double all right i'm going to execute again you're going to see something interesting so the result of the float is 0 0.01 this is the double and the result of the double is this right so here you have more decimal points supposedly you have more precision but when you did the subtraction this is not accurate this is not this this has a lot of precision but it's not accurate so this is more accurate right so this is when you are dealing with big numbers if, if you are dealing with currencies uh, there is a tendency of people wanting to use double Right, because you have more precision and you need more precision with numbers because you don't want to uh, you don't want to change the number you don't want to scale up or scale down the number you want to have the best precision as possible right however double is not the ideal one we're going to be talking about the ideal one in other videos when you talk about um, numbers and math mathematical expressions and so on so we're going to leave this for now right so so now we have the prim primit primitive types uh, roughly and then so now you have the primitive types uh, this is what i wanted to show you we touched a little bit about variables how to print data into the console uh how to do some sort of mathematical expression and yeah that's what i wanted to show you thank you for watching if you like it give the thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do so hit the bell to receive notifications of my next videos and i'll be watching i'll be seeing you in the next video